Ding. Hi guys, welcome back to one more video on FFA build series. In one of our previous video, we have already made a step-by-step -step tutorial on making analog racing pedals. In that project, we have used the potentiometers to read the pedal input. Here, most of the beginners face difficulties to make this pot movement mechanism. So we got many requests on the comment section to use Hall Effect sensor, which are contactless and easy to use. So in today's video, will explore and try to make one. To make it easier, I'll divide this video into different sections. Starting with the first one on the mechanical design. For the older pedals, I had used wood and aluminium pieces. But for today's project, I'll go with 3D printing. After searching a lot, I found one simple pedal design. I'll be using this and start printing all the files. I'll also provide the printable files link in the description box. These are all the printed parts. Also, I'm using 5mm 1.5 inches bolt nuts, 16mm bearings, and a spring. So let's quickly assemble and make the frame.
This is the frame after assembly. Moving on to the next part on the electronics. There are different types of Hall effect sensors available in the market but for our project we have to particularly select 49E Hall effect sensor which gives analog output based on the strength of magnetic field. You can directly select the 49E element or a module having the same sensor mounted. To see the behavior of the sensor I connected it to a 5 volt power supply and a multimeter on the output analog pin. By default, we are getting around 2.3 volts. If I take the magnet near to the sensor, the voltage varies and reaches till 3.9 volts. Now, I'll mount the sensor on the pedal frame. And I'll also place the magnet in such a way it activates the sensor when the pedal is pressed. So moving next onto the connections and software. We are using EMC Lite firmware in our FFB build. From the playlist, if you go through part 3 video, You'll get detailed explanation on the schematic, software installations and the configuration. Make sure you check that video once from the link in the description box. If I open the circuit diagram from there, for the pedals, we have the potentiometers connected to analog pins of the Arduino board. So today, we'll just Replace this potentiometer with a Hall sensor. This is the pinout of the sensor. First two pins are VCC and ground. And the last one is for analog output. Just for demonstration, I'm connecting one sensor. In the same way, you can replace other two potentiometers. I'm done with the connections. I'll directly open the EMC interface and go to pedals. So the pedal is working as expected. In my case, I've placed the magnet far from the sensor. So the pedal has to travel more. But if you want the pedal to have shorter press, you can adjust the magnet distance from the sensor as per your requirements. I tested this on ETS2 and here also it works fine.
overall to conclude in case of potentiometers even though mechanical design is complex and there is wear and tear after long use they give more voltage range from min to max rotation and suitable for simulator games whereas in case of hall sensors they are contactless no wear and tear easy to use and they give less voltage range from min to max moment which results in less pedal travel and suitable for racing and drifting games so that's all for this video i hope it will be very helpful if you are planning to make these pedals for your gaming rig you can use this video as a reference for electronics and the software part and make your hardware design based on your needs and also make sure to check our previous tutorials from the link in the description box thank you for watching